Good afternoon, it's Wednesday the 23rd of July 2025 and I'm down in the Titanic area of Belfast and in fact Titanic uh, Exhibition Centre or Museum or whatever you want to call it is there and it's been surrounded by apartments which have only recently been put up and I have done videos about that but I'm not doing that something like that today I'm looking out on the Queen's Road uh, that goes up into this area and comes to the Titanic Hotel and goes past and there's the nomadic over there, the tender to the Titanic, and that's uh, the Belfast Met down just around the corner, and the SSE Arena where all the ice skating and big uh, ice hockey matches goes on, and W5s at the base of it, um, just in there. But I'm waiting for something. I'm waiting for a particular bus. That's not an ordinary bus. <laughs> it's definitely not an ordinary bus. And it's the first bus in the whole of Ireland, I believe. But here's the glider coming. the glider not in service but I'm waiting for another type of bus so I'll get rid of myself here and this bus is supposed to run every 20 minutes and it carries eight passengers I believe it's electric so environmentally friendly and all that sort of thing. Uh, and it stops at Belfast Met and then it does a turnaround. Somewhere down here. And then it comes on down the Queen's Road. I think it stops in the Titanic, although there's construction going on. So I don't know whether it actually will pull in here. But this, this bus, is significant because it's the first of its kind I believe in the whole of Ireland if not the whole of Western Europe because it's driverless it hasn't got a driver I don't know how this works I haven't got the technological brain to work this out how this operates it's totally beyond me it's uh, there for the convenience of tourists and, and anyone else who wants to get a free ride in it. Of course, whenever you take a free ride in this bus, you're taking your well, you're taking a, a, a sort of a risk. It has been trialled for the last month, but uh, you are taking a, a sort of a, a risk because this bus hasn't got a driver, so you you'd, you'd think. Uh, it's like, it's like magic. How does it work? <laughs> it's beyond me, but I'm waiting for it to come. And there's it there, actually. It's, it's, it's a way down the other direction. I thought it was, was going to pull up along, alongside me here, but uh, I've managed to miss it. Well, let's see if I can... I can uh, I can get it whenever it comes back again. Well, if you haven't guessed already, this bus is called the Harlander. And, and here it comes. It's done a wee circuit there. And 
comes away down the other way again. Oh my goodness, I thought it would come up this way. But no, it hasn't. I was going to stop outside, well, on the other side of the road to Titanic. But I've missed it again, but never mind. Here's the uh, supposed route, which it's not following today. Uh, it's a shuttle bus. And uh, I'm not on the... Uh, Queen's Road and the Thompson Dry Dock is, is, is way through that wall. So here's the Harlander route. So it's supposed to, um, oh, it's supposed to run from Titanic, Belfast South, and do a circuit round here. Uh, Hamilton Road, but it's actually just continuing to do that circuit. Uh, it should actually be coming up past me and going to the Catalyst southbound and Catalyst northbound and doing a turnaround at the end of this road, but it's not doing that uh, because this is a pilot service and uh, it's really just being tested out and here it is and this bus is being tested now uh, there appears to be a driver there I don't know I don't know what he's doing but this is supposed to be a driverless bus This is for testing purposes that it, it has a driver. Is he using the steering wheel? I don't even think he is. So there must be more than one of these vehicles about the place. He's, uh, he's opposite the Titanic uh, Hotel. self-driving vehicle. Here it comes now. Northern Ireland's first driverless vehicle being tested out. Moved on up the Queen's Road. Um, uh, had another uh, harder stop. I'm at the uh, Catalyst building. The car park is just here. And I'm wondering. Will the Harlander make a stop here? It certainly goes up past here uh, because there's a roundabout just around that corner. So we should see it. <laughs> there's the bike straight into it. <laughs> I don't know, I must know somebody in there. And I think this is this Harlander bus coming back again. Might be wrong, mind you, because it's a brief distance away. And the only reason I'm down here is that we saw this on our TV last night. Uh, this is it coming. And it's cutting across again. 
coming down this way at all. So this one is, is uh, being tested out, and he's not taking passengers. But the next one, the next one coming along, is, is taking passengers apparently. This is a, there's two gliders. They are, they are pretty frequent. Ah, oh, there's, there's your man come back. Well, he's not in service. They're extremely quiet, these vehicles. And uh, I believe that, 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 that they're free, at least that's my information, and they're to encourage and promote connectivity in around the Titanic area. When I came down here this afternoon, I didn't realise that there were two of these shuttle buses and that one was being trialled uh, and the other one was in normal use and I just can't seem to uh, get hold of the one that's in normal use. I I'd hope maybe to get a, a wee ride but there you go. Um, just highlighting that this is the first driverless shuttle bus, as far as I know, um, in Northern Ireland, in the whole of Ireland, uh, possibly in the whole of the UK, uh, possibly in the whole of Western Europe. I, I just don't know. So, uh, I have a deadline to meet, so I need to be home. Because we've got the grandchildren coming back again. And I need to be there. So maybe maybe some other day I'll get a I'll come down and get a wee lift on this uh Harlander. Would you get on a a driverless vehicle? It's maybe not for uh, for everybody. Nah, I'd be willing to give it a go as long as it's well tested. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? See this one coming, so I have to head back home. <laughs>